Um, this is Wei Wu, and my presentation, uh, the topic of my presentation is simulation of OFDM system. And this is the outline of my presentation. First, let me introduce what is OFDM. OFDM is an improvement to multi-carrier modulation. The subcarriers are orthogonal to each other, so the spectrum after spread, uh, spread spectrum modulation can overlap each other, just like this figure shows. Um, it, not, it not only reduces the mutual interference between the subcarriers, but also greatly improves the spectrum utilization. And the main characteristic of OFDM is orthogonality. And we can see in this picture, the green line from um, left to right represents one OFDM symbol duration. And there are three subcarriers in one OFDM symbol in time domain. And similarly, we can see the individual carriers in frequency domain. The sidelines or if individual carriers overlap, but the signal can still be received without adjacent carriers uh, interference. Then uh, let's talk about the OFDM system. This is a block diagram of basic OFDM system. The upper half uh, corresponds to the transmitter and the lower half correspond to the receiver. First, the transmitter converts the digital signal into subcarrier amplitude and phase mapping and perform IFST to change the spectral representation or the data to the uh, time domain. And they will pass through multi-channel to reach the uh, receiving end. When the receiving end get them, uh, it performs the offset operation and use FFT transformation to decompose. And finally, convert the amplitude and phase of the subcarrier back to the digital signal. And then let me uh, introduce some technologies used in OFDM. The first one is guard interval. Because the multi pass channel will affect the inter-symbol interference or if the OFDM symbol and uh, destroy the orthogonality between subcarriers. So we need to eliminate the ISI effect caused by the multi-pass channel by inserting a guard interval. So um, there are two ways to insert a guard interval. The first is zero padding. The second is cyclic prefix. Uh, because I use cyclic prefix in my project, so I briefly uh, introduce it here. The um, cyclic prefix copied, uh, copied the samples after OFDM to the front, and the length uh, it is denoted as TCP. So we can use the formula list here to get the length of uh, each symbol. And the T sub here is the number of subcarriers in the data part. So um, if TCP is greater than or equal to the multipass delay, the ISI influence between symbols will be uh, limited, uh, limited within the guard interval. So, um, it will not affect the FFT transformation of the next OFDM. Then, uh, let's talk about the interleaving. The function of interleaving is to convert first uh, errors into random errors, which is conductive to the decoding of uh, forward error correction codes and improves the reliability of the entire communication system. And uh, interleaving consists of two conversion processes. The first one is uh, the first one ensures the adjacent coded bits 
uh, are mapped to non-adjacent subcarriers, and the second one ensures the uh, adjacent code bits are res respectively mapped to the important bits and non-important bits of the constellation diagram, avoiding the long-term low, uh, low bit mapping. Um, then talks about the uh, channel coding. Due to the interference and fading in uh, mobile communications, error may occur during a uh, signal transmission. So we need error detection and error detection coding technology to enhance the ability of data transmission in the channel to resist various interference so as to um, improve the system reliability. And generally, we will use convolutional coding and uh, vertical decoding. And the spectrum, uh, spread spectrum communication technology as an information transmission, transmission method, the frequency bandwidth occupied by the signal is much larger than the minimum band uh, band necessary for the information to be transmitted. So um, the expansion of the frequency band is completed by an independent code sequence, which is achieved by coding and modulation method. Um, at the receiving end, the same code is used to receive uh, the spread and to restore the transmitted information data. And the last one is the pilot. The pilot is a uh, data known by both parties and used for channel estimation, which does not carry information. Um, at the receiving end, it will be a certain residual deviation in the symbol, and the deviation will accumulate over time. Mm, which will be which will cause a certain phase shift in or subcarriers. So it is also necessary to keep track of uh, reference phase. To achieve this function, this function, pilot symbol need to insert it in 52 non-zero subcarriers. Okay. Um, the OFDM has many advantages. Uh, here I list some of them. Um, the OFDM spectrum consists of overlapping narrow subcarriers, so the OF um, so it can effectively use the spectrum than the traditional FDM. And in the OFDM wide band, a uh, wide band channels are divided into smaller narrow band sub subchannels, so it is resistant to frequency with selective fading. What's, uh, and because uh, OFDM use a cyclic prefix to eliminate ISI in the multipass channel environment, therefore it is um, robust to multipass fading. And um, OFDM is also a uh, bandwidth scalable technology because uh, bandwidth can be allocated according to resource uh, requirement. And compared with a single carrier system, OFDM is less sensitive to sampling time offset damage. And of of course, uh, there are many disadvantages of uh, OFDM. So, uh, like OFDM um, based uh, transmission system require RF power amplifier with the higher peak to average power ratio because OFDM signal has a larger dy dynamic range due to its noise like amplitude. So, as well has a higher peak to average power ratio. And um, it also requires times offset and frequency offset correction algorithms because it points to I, um, 
intersingle inference and in intercarrier inference. And since the OFD and spectrum is transmitted through multipath, a guard band is required to avoid ISI error caused by timing offset. Um, but using a Exactly prefix will uh, result in a loss of efficiency. And OFDM is very sensitive to Doppler shift. Uh, OFDM requires a linear transmitter circuit, but its power efficiency is very low. Um, then let's see the result of my program. The first figure shows uh, the transmitted data in frequency domain image. We can see that um, the signal transmitted as orthogonal and there is not much noise. Uh, the second figure shows the data passed the multi um, past the multi pass channel, so obviously it contains many noises compared with the first figure. And um, this figure, of the, the left, left figure, shows the BR curve and the AWGN channel. And we can see the BR will decrease when SNR increase. It also shows um, both BR curve before and after the 4PSK modulation and the convolutional decoding. And the last figure shows the top 60 data, um, the sent data and the received data. Uh, when I use the 4PK mod, uh, 4PSK modulations, and uh, convolutional decoding and spread spectrum. Okay, finally, um, let's run the code. So um, th these are the figures I just posted on the PowerPoint. Okay, this is all about my presentation. Thank you.